Today I'm going to be reviewing Capizio Dancewear. I have been buying Capizio stuff for quite a few years now. I often go to their Covent Garden branch, which has a really good shop there, stocked with loads of goodies. I bought some items in the recent sale, which was online only. As always with my reviews, you can see the written review along at my blog, which is www.straighttothepoint.net and I will do the same format as before where I'll show pictures and then pictures of me and the items plus my verdict um, like a 10 out of 10. Anyways let's get started. First up are the 18 inch solid leg warmers which are these. I was looking for a leg warmer that was um, shorter because I've got a lot of like long ones that go um, up to the thigh. Anyways these are really gorgeous they're made of a really soft fabric and they're really, really cosy. I'm just going to show you them up close. As you can see, I went for a pinky colour. I believe they come in four different colours. This was a deep rose shade and it was only £6. I've worn them to class pretty much all the time and even to Pilates and they're really good. I wear leg warmers because I've got very tight hamstrings. I like to keep my legs warm before I start class and then take them off when I'm warm enough. So yeah, these definitely get a 10 out of 10. Next up are the Capizio Essentials tights. show you that. I've got them in white and pink. Now they're footed, like so, and they're only £4.25. The waistband is a little bit thick for my liking, but for that price you can't really complain. The texture of the tights is really nice and soft, has a great amount of stretch to them. They're hard wearing and they're also the right shade of pink in my opinion and the white ones well, they're obviously white. <laughs> this size is small medium. Now I'm five foot three and to give you an idea, they came up to like my high hip. I wouldn't, they're not as um, high fitting as other brands I've worn. But I personally don't like tights that come too high up. Um, they did feel a little bit like I had to really pull them up, but once they was on, they didn't fall down or anything like that. So due to the waistbands not being to my personal preference, I would give these tights maybe an eight out of 10. Next up, we have the Capizio Empire Wrap Leotard, which is the most stunning colour and very similar to the one I've got on. It's got a great back detail. This leotard was £16. I got all the leotards in a size medium. I really like this one because not only is it a very flattering shape and the detail across the front kind of adds to like the texture and style of the leotard, but also the back was kind of fuss free, kind of stayed where it was during class and the leotard provided an adequate support, whereas some of the other leotards I found didn't support at all, which I'll go into when I review the next ones in a minute. I absolutely love the colour, I think it's really gorgeous and I love how unusual this fabric is here all the kind of like tie-dye to it. I think that's really unique and that's what I look for in a leotard. I like a leotard that stands out but is also comfortable. I would give this leotard a 10 out of 10 for sure. Next up we have the front pleat leotard which was £11. I got it in this purple shade. It's got a really funky print that you can see. Now when I saw this I thought well looks like a really good shape for me because halter neck tends to suit my body shape really well. It's got a really really cool low back detail as you can see like a kind of knot down the bottom. Unfortunately for me this leotard just doesn't work. I have worn it and um, it's just it doesn't really support you at all but it doesn't really have any kind of support there. Now I tend to wear my leotards with strapless bras and clear back strapless bras but this leotard, I'm afraid to say, isn't really going to suit you unless you're quite flat chested, maybe a B cup at most. Um, I'm double D and I found 
it really didn't fit me well around the bust. I also found that these bits here down the side kept moving around and didn't really lie flat. It's unfortunate because it is a really gorgeous design. So I definitely recommend it for you guys that are more flat chested and can get away with that kind of leotard. I would say I'd give this leotard probably a five out of 10 really. Next up we have the crossback leotard. Again, this is a really cool, funky style. It looks really simple from the front, but when you turn it round, it's got these really cool um, crossback straps. Really nice design, has a shelf bar lining. I thought it would be supportive, but sadly, it didn't support at all. Also, the straps tend to keep twisting. They don't lie flat. It gets really annoying having to keep fiddle, like fiddling with them in class. It's also really low cut at the back. Now, when you're wearing ballet tights and if you wear them underneath your leotard, it's really hard to keep them from not showing. Like, leot like when you've got your tights on, they kind of come here, really. So you have to kind of push them down and that gives a really unflattering line. This leotard, again, is more suited to, I'd say, a maximum of a B cup, maybe a C cup if you're not like um, a larger C cup. Now, Again, it is a really gorgeous uh, fabric. It's really well made. It's, you know, it'd be really fancy to wear, but sadly for me, it just didn't work out. This is definitely the worst out of the selection I've got, I have to say. I would give this a three out of 10. Next up, we have the halter neck leotard, which was 13 pounds. And I have it on now. That's how much I love it. This is my absolute favourite of the bunch. Um, halter neck style, so really suits my shape. It sits really nicely. The fabric is absolutely gorgeous. It's the same um, colours and fabric as the Empire uh, leotard that I showed earlier, which is also one of my favourites. I'm just going to stand up for you. I've got these little shorts on at the moment, um, which also by Capizio. As you can see, it's a really nice shape and it's got a really nice detail. On the website, they also have a picture where they've uh, crossed the halter neck straps around like this, which I think is also really nice. As this leotard is my favorite, I would give it 10 out of 10. I really love ballet skirts, so I bought two in the sale. This one I'm going to show you first is the button wrap skirt. Really nice print. I got this in a size, I think it's small, medium. Let me just check. Um, just medium. Anyways, I've cut the label out of this one because otherwise it, you can see it when you're wearing it. It's a really nice, cute fabric with a nice little button to fasten it with. I've got a few skirts by Capizio and they've all been like a, a really okay length. This one is a pretty good length, though I would have preferred it a little bit longer. Um, with this kind of style, you have to wear it on your waist. You can't really wear it any lower. Whereas some other skirts, you can actually wear them on your like upper lower hip. I'm just gonna show you there. This goes um, well with a few of the leotards I've got available, such as the um, two I showed you earlier, which was the uh, cross back leotard and also the front pleat leotard. So I guess I would give this skirt really like eight out of 10 because all I'd like really is maybe it to sit a bit lower and be a little bit longer. I also forgot to mention that when you're wearing this leotard um, combined with the two leotards they show you it with, it doesn't really work because the leotards are quite low cut in the back. So trying to wear this on your hips is it doesn't really feel right and it doesn't sit as nice and also you'll find that sometimes the seam kind of folds over if you're like sitting down and getting up or, or whatever. Next up we have a skirt which is just called skirt. <laughs> this one is the same fabric as the top half of this leotard which is really cool and it has no fasten, it's literally just elasticated around the waist like so. This to me seems shorter than the other skirt, which is a bit of a disappointment really. 
I've tried wearing it in the picture like it shows with it sitting on the hip but it just keeps riding up it's such a nightmare I think this might be okay with other leotards and being worn on the waist but the problem is if, if you go and wear it higher up so on the waist then it will be even shorter as you can see the length is really short it's like it looks to me like a child's skirt even though it isn't I am a bit disappointed with it because if this skirt was a little bit longer and maybe had the button wrap fastened instead then it would have uh, sat better and also looked more flattering with this leotard because this is a really gorgeous leotard now I have no skirt to wear it with so I just kind of mix and match and wear like my own kind of skirts that I've got so it is a shame and um, this was again a size medium it's also worth noting that the skirts label is really um, like you can really see it through the fabric so you'll need to cut that out which is a case of really holding it away and trimming it down so I guess I would give this skirt really um, a 4 out of 10 really now I can't seem to find these shorts on the side anymore but I have these uh, in similar style and different kind of uh, patterns these are like woolen shorts they're really cute and really cosy a nice warm up I would give these shorts a 10 out of 10 they sit really nice they're really comfortable easy to wear and a really cool print next up we have the multi compartment bag which is 28 pounds and 75 pence it's a really good size I'll just show you it here as you can see it definitely has multi compartments Now, let's go through a bit about the bag. It has a nice padded shoulder strap, which you can adjust, as so. It has handles, so you can carry it. You can also remove this strap. At the front, we have some really cute pockets. And there's also, like, sneaky hidden pockets as well. There's one in here, which you can undo. There's a little zip pocket, pocket here. There's a little apartment here, one there, and the bottom also undoes with a zip. I store shoes in this bit. Just gonna show you in there. See, it's really roomy. It's also made of a waterproof fabric. Inside the bag, let's see if I can uh, show you this. It's got a few pockets either side, and um, just one side, sorry. So you've got two pockets on one side and plenty of room in the top part of the bag it's got quite nice colours um, it's definitely roomy enough to put plenty of your dance wear shoes and anything else in it I would give the bag a 10 out of 10 and it's also handy for taking to the gym the beach or anywhere really I hope you've enjoyed this review. Feel free to ask me any questions about the items um, in a comment below or email me. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash UK, and on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash to the point fitting. My website, www.straighttothepoint.net, where you can find all the links to my Instagram, Twitter and everything else on there. You can also email me about point shoe fittings because I do mobile point fittings so I can come to you in person even to your dance school and fit you please subscribe to my channel and any ideas for future videos 